what we're looking at on the left side is just a character that I uh, created for a recent webinar. Uh, we do a lot of online, uh, uh, a lot of online activity surrounding events and, and just, you know, presentations. And uh, I built this to show some of the things that we're going to look at today. In this case, we're rendering this or displaying this in Viewport 2.0. So we're actually able to navigate around. We see really uh, nice uh, sh shadows, all of our textures. We also get uh, nice normal mapping. Turn our lights back on. Uh, you can see all of this is uh, displayed really nicely in the viewport. And we've got control over that now. The viewport 2.0 has some options that supports other features. And you notice that, uh, again, we can traverse across multiple monitors if we like. We also, we can uh, turn on screen-based ambient occlusion. And this is really nice to be able to get a little bit of extra realism inside your scene to see what that's going to look like, maybe prior to baking out that information from Mudbox or from inside of Maya. And again, we still maintain that, uh, that interactivity with the scene. Uh, all of this can be rendered out too, by the way. Of course, we can turn on uh, motion blur. As we move around, you can see that the camera, everything inside the scene starts to uh, get nice and, and blurry the way you'd expect. You can bump up the sample rate. And this still, I maintain a really nice frame rate. And being able to view your scene and kind of get this feedback from what you're looking at is a great way to work.